Hello friends, I am Dr. Amarjeet Kaur. I am Professor of Management Accounting, Accounting and uh, Business Communication at the Department of Management, Gurugram University, Gurugram. I have authored uh, 9 books, 56 research papers so far and I am still learning to research and grow in the academics and industry. So this is my privilege that I am here with you to talk about leadership communication. This is the part of the business communication series we are running and in that we have discussed many types of communication including the crisis communication, employment communication and today we are taking up another important topic leadership communication. We shall be discussing about what is leadership communication, what is the importance of leadership communication and how can one improve in leadership communication you know what all skills which are related to communication and especially can help a leader to be in you know uh, delivering effectively. So we are going to discuss all in the next one hour. So let us start with this today. So friends you must have come across many examples in business world where people succeeded simply because they are very good in communication. Of course not it is not the only thing one must have but it is the important thing for any leader to succeed right unless a leader a person who is into a leadership position can uh, motivate the uh, you know team employees or, or his team and uh, he or she cannot be a successful. So one need to motivate the team, one need to get the things done from the team, one needs to actually be there a good listener whenever the team needs that. So a leadership communication deals with all those things. Okay? So, the, so this is a type of communication which primarily is used by leaders. Why? Leaders have to disseminate information about the culture what kind of culture a company has, right? So it is up to the leader to actually communicate that, what, what all core values a business has, right? That should be communicated to all, you know, to the old employees, to the new ones who are joining a business. What is the mission of the company and, and any other crucial message? So this is the type of communication, you know, the leadership communication that we are talking. It helps in disseminating all such important things, be it the culture of the company, be it core value of the company, mission or any, any urgent or crucial message, right? So that, you know, the, the, the employees, the team, they actually trust in the message uh, and uh, this message, this communication should encourage everyone to achieve the goals a company has. So ultimate objective of any uh, you know organization is to achieve the goals. So those goals can be achieved if the leader has very effective communication. So that's, that's the importance, that's the type of communication we are talking. Now this leadership com communication basically ha you know it refers to it actually brings down the skills the skills a leader must have and the application of effective communication uh, you know uh, so that an employee in a leadership position can uh, motivate others could get the things done from others could achieve the goals could uh, resolve conflicts could uh, direct people well right so it is basically referring to the skill set of individuals of leaders so this is not, this is a very important skill. In general, we always talk the business communication, you know, as a part of business communication. That communication is the most important thing. Any uh, executive, any buddy in uh, on this earth needs to have, right? So so it plays a really important role in the success of uh, uh, you know as anybody in, in career. Uh, we have so many example if I refer to Glassdoor data or any other data you know whatever skills are required for the jobs which are advertised uh, more than 50% of the jobs they require good or effective communication skill irrespective it is a leadership position or a beginner's position right. 
so that is the importance of communication in journal what i am referring to here is the leadership communication it becomes rather more important you know one person with little less effective communication can survive in the beginning level at middle level even if he or she is good in technical in professional knowledge or otherwise in many other areas but if a leader is not having an effective communication good communication it's really hard for him or her to survive we can refer to many countries where the leaders who have very good communication they are considered to be you know those com- countries are leading in fact uh, success of any particular pa- political party depends upon how effective that leader is the, the the leader of that particular party right because effective communication can actually help uh, to connect with the masses same is true for leadership communication in business because we are referring in the context of a business so in a leadership position uh, for any business this is the most desirable skill right so how this skill is developed and how this skill is applied both are important and that's what constitute the leadership communication okay so this actually is management of both internal and external communication which is used by a leader to communicate with the team members and to socialize you know so it could be team members to whom, with whom a leader is meeting right how a leader is socializing with the team members how a leader is communicating internally as well as externally about about the company's vision mission goals etc etc just imagine we have recently seen the crisis in the world economy yes i am referring to covid 19 you all could get it right and you can see there are hundreds and hundreds of examples how companies actually uh, dealt with that challenge most of the companies their leaders came up they spoke about the issue and it was you know those companies where the leaders were carrying some empathical conversation were appreciative of the problem and then were sharing their decisions be it you know uh, firing people be it you know shrinking the size of the employees or you know showing those pink slips whatever you know it could be any hard decision any crucial thing but it all depends how that leader starts with connects with the masses with the people how a leader socialize so that really decides the decision will be successful or a failure any decision be it the decision regarding bringing a change change in processes change in production change in uh, policies cha- any kind of change adopting new practices everything becomes possible more easy more effective if leader has effective communication and that's what the leadership communication means that somebody possesses that skill and applies into the communication internally or externally and especially the internally right with the team members so that's what leadership communication is so if i want to actually you know pen down that what all leadership communication includes so it uh, it actually includes the method by which a leader give and receive instruction you know most of the time leaders are supposed to give instructions to the team member you know uh, complete this project by this date i want this report by this date you know the same message that that report is required on 30th of july can be communicated in a different way you just see you will you know the same thing that finish your meal if your da- if your father or mother tells you finish your food you know so it all depends how does it how does that message come your response will depend upon how that message has been told to you or communicated to you right message is same finish your meal or supply this report by 30th i want what is the requirement here in a business for example to get a report by 30th but how do i communicate as a leader 
do i build some story line around do i share the problem we will face and un- un- uh, if we are unable to submit the uh, you know report by 30th uh, do i share the background do i give the justification that why i am demanding this report by 30th so, or simply i say as an instruction give me this or submit me this report by 30th you know this is my tone submit this report by 30th this report should come on my table by 30th you know can you imagine the kind of tone uh, if being used will if, how will it affect right and somebody may say that see the last time we lost the tender we could not submit the tender online on time or the business of the country a company is going down by you know it has went down by 18% and we need to revive our our uh, promotions our packages are dependent on the business we bring to the company and we have limitation i hope you all understand that we need to submit this tender by 30th i understand the time is very short i may sound uh, you know over demanding but tell me do we have any option just think about it if you agree that yes we need to submit this tender by 30th i i so it should be prepared by you so could you see the difference in this one example one was just giving the instruction without any plea without any justification submit me the report by 30th this report should come on my table by 30th we have seen such statements coming from leaders right and on the other hand another example i gave so so same instruction right giving or receiving instruction that how a leader gives instruction matters a lot sometime leaders give instruction in a very uh, you know flux manner it's okay uh, you know you can submit the report by 30th it's okay if you submit it by 31st we may struggle uh, that's okay uh, you know i will be able to convince uh, if it is it doesn't come on 30th or 31st can you imagine the moment such flux is there in the message it is going to uh, you know the the majority of the people say it's okay 30th is not essential like 30th is not the deadline that it's not the real deadline it's not so urgent that it should be submitted on 30th you may you may trying you may you may be trying to be nice you may be trying to be flexible but you were not firm as a leader and that's it and that's the end of the story right so how we give or receive instruction that's also is the part of the leadership communication how we actually uh, you know uh, submit the report of progress the progress report right so even that is the part of leadership communication so let's say uh, let's say there is a uh, uh, you know policy of the company to submit uh, uh, you know sales report by every month or by every qu- uh, fortnight so uh, one could be i simply share the numbers in as a leader as a leader of the sales team uh, uh, north india head or uh, you know it could be country head sales country head submitting the report so how does he or she communicate it matters that is also part of leadership communication because uh, you know this is of course the leadership communication that a progress report is submitted and how it is submitted is another matter is another thing that will it be effective or not but whenever a leader submits the progress report for sales or production for any new product development for any research, research and development activity for any activity for promotion for follow up with uh, tax authorities for follow up so any kind of progress report being submitted is also part of leadership communication not only that how you know if congratulation message you know coming by a leader to the team members or any team member who has been promoted or a congratulation message for achieving uh, uh, any milestone for achieving the target you know sales targets are achieved are surpassed the r and d development 
uh, you know converts into or gets into or leads to uh, the actual product development, right? Uh, any success in any venture is actually actually deserves a con you know con congrats message. So that congratulation message also comes from a leader and is also part of leadership communication. Okay, then uh, any kind of conflict is there. So, a leader has to mediate, has to administer the punishment even for times, right. Sometimes team members uh, are changed from one to another team, sometimes the people are told to leave, sometimes uh, the con you know so everybody sits across the table and discusses the conflict. So, whatever this is also leadership communication, right. As a leader some, some is sitting and helping to mediate between the two parties who are aggrieved, who are having uh, you know some kind of concern over, over others reaction, action etc. So, that even mediating conflict is also a leadership communication or pronouncing the punishment. So, so if I as a dean of the faculty of commerce and management you know pronounces punishment to any student or any faculty for that matter you know it is part of my leadership communication that that is also leadership communication. How do I do is is a matter of effective or ineffective leadership right. But otherwise this pronouncement of punishment uh, mediating conflict is leadership communication ok. So, in all whatever we have discussed so far is this that leadership communication can actually uh, encourage team members to perform their work effectively. This actually plays that that much role you know someone's leaders are generally not supposed to be working themselves on products or projects or in operation they are supposed to be getting the work done from the team member. The size of team could vary from organization to organization and from leader to leader. Some leader may have a team of 20, some another leader may have team of 500 or 5000, right. It all depends upon the leadership position. Even leaders are there for at, at many levels. Leaders are just not there at the top level only, mind you. At every level we have a leadership position. Even at middle level we have leadership position, at top level of course we have the leadership position, right. So, the effective leadership communication actually encourages a team to perform effectively just to you know bring out the importance or of the uh, you know leadership which we are going to discuss one by one what all are important points and this actually fosters trust a trusting work environment which helps members you know feel comfortable in sharing the feelings, sharing their ideas, sharing their concerns. What will happen if the team members are afraid of leader? They are afraid of you know passing by the room of the leader. We do have such kind of leaders, it is not that it is not true. So, what will happen there? Just imagine, certainly a team member will find you know no way to share his uh, you know idea, it could be the best of the best idea, but he or she is hesitant sharing because leader has not developed that kind of trust within the team. He has not given them indication that your my doors are open. Today only I interacted with one of the groups who joined the university t uh, at uh, you know today and the first thing I told my students that particular group is this that uh, my, my office has an open door policy. You can walk in any time, you need not to go to my office to seek appointment and see me. You need not to ask my office to you know and put up an application and then I will decide on the application, just walk into my office. We have an open door policy. This is the first message I gave to a bunch of students who joined today. What does it mean? Certainly the majority of them will feel 
you know, comfortable and confidence coming to me with their problem, with their ideas, with their suggestions for improvement of the department, right? So, what kind of confidence a leader brings in the team members so that the team members feel comfortable in sharing this will decide the growth of the team growth of the institution or the department or the or the company right a team could have concerns they are not having uh, appropriate uh, working conditions they do not have uh, let's say enough facilities to work in they do have concern about their health their ha some hazards they have some concerns about the deadlines so if they feel the or even the idea which has or the policy which has been implemented it is a possibility that leader introduced something and uh, there was some mistake some error in uh, in assessment in estimation the condition and team members who were working at the bottom of the uh, you know uh, at, at the bottom at the ground they realized it but if uh, the team members are not confident coming back to the leader telling them sharing the concern that this is what they foresee which probably has been missed somehow so what will be the fate the fate would be that plan will be going to be a failure isn't it so that failure can be saved if there is a effective leadership communication right so friends i am going to discuss in this pretext you know with this background in mind the importance of leadership communication skills so the first thing is this allows collaborations certainly if leadership communication uh, skill is there in any leader you know so any leader having good communication skills uh, there is a likelihood that there would be collaboration within the teams, within the uh, you know organizations, outside organization. How? Because leader will sound fear in sharing the expectations, uh, putting up the background, putting up the concern and developing the way or the path for aspirations, right, will, will bring the justification that how this collaboration will uh, help grow everyone involved right so it will allow collaboration because there would be a very fair uh, in communication very effective communication about the outcome of the collaboration if we just say that we want to collaborate on this and another way we we put up the justification we share the background we share the expected outcome and share the benefit the both parties the collaborating parties will have certainly the possibility to collaborate becomes higher right then uh, it encourages sharing as I said uh, you know the problems if being shared on time can actually save a lot of resources otherwise there will be wastage of resources the until the actual failure happens we can avoid failures we can avoid problems to a very major extent if we have the culture to share and that is the part of the leadership communication skill that a leader gives assurance to another team members and other members that your suggestions are welcome sharing of concern is welcome and i will not be judging you right it's important to tell that I'm not judging you. You will not be judged irrespective how naive the suggestion is, how small the concern is. Getting my point? So it encourages sharing, okay? And then it enhances performance. A per, no, performance of the leadership, uh, you know, of the team will uh, go up certainly if the leader who is leading that team has effective communication skill. Just imagine, you know, how the performance comes in. We have to give the details. We have to share what is expected for that particular task which has been delegated, right? So, the delegation is something which begins. We explain the project. We explain the process. We explain the outcome. 
So, what is happening? In all the three things, be it the expectation, be it the process, we are actually, in, uh, you know, she, we are actually using the communication. And had the communication been effective used by the leader, it will certainly end up into better results. So, this is how performance enhances. Then uh, it reduces error. So, the error of course will go down if the leader was very effective in sharing the expectation, the process and then answering the queries. Right? If uh, you know, any team member has concern or query and he or she is not confident asking, certainly there is a possibility it will end up into some error, some kind of mistake, some kind of problem. But if the same team member was given an opportunity to raise the concern, seek clarification and leader was encouraging them to seek the uh, clarification. So, that is the part of leadership communication. The feedback is part of communication, right? So, if I am, let us say I am explaining that how to uh, complete a particular task and during the explanation, during the briefing, I am encouraging my team member to please ask as many questions as you have, any doubt, whichever or whatever it is, but which means I am reducing the possibility of error in that task, right? So, that is what the leadership communication ends to or leads to. Another importance of leadership communication is it improves efficiency. If the errors, possibilities for errors are reduced, if the explanation is well, the briefing is good, certainly, you know, and there is a cordial environment, there is a motivation for everyone to ask whosoever communicates that there is a good con con you know, congratulations message, there is a good motivation coming from the leaders, of course, the efficiency will go up. It is not the money all the time which plays a role, believe me or not. At certain level, uh, you know, money is important, but after or beyond that level, it is that how you are acknowledged in the team. And if leader is good in communication uh, uh, skills, is vocal to accept the contribution of the team members. So, that is in words, right, in written or the verbal words that leads to improving the efficiency of team members. And the last thing is it improves the motivation of team. How does it improve the motivation? I am, I am listening to you guys as a team, as a leader. I am responding to your queries. I am not judge, judging you, I am telling you, I am convincing you every time I meet, I am socializing with you, I am eating with you and I am giving you the message, we are team, we work together and the results are achieved together. If that kind of communication is coming openly, clearly in straight words from a leader, certainly the team gets motivated and this is, this is the importance of leadership communication skill, right? So, I hope I was able to explain you well that what is leadership communication and what is the importance of leadership communication in achieving goals of any business. So, friends, uh, thank you very much for being with me. I will sign off for a few minutes.